Hey, this is Paul from Screenwriting Software Expert. Now today we're going to put Final Draft on the Actaeon with Fade In. Now both are really great programs. Both have helped screenwriters create some awesome projects and both are very well known in the industry. However, which one is better? Care to place your bets? Are you a Fade In Acrylite or a Final Draft devotee? To be honest, this was really close. Um, and it went down to the wire, so I can't wait to share this with you. And stick around for the end of the video to see which one of these two, uh, as they say in um, Iron Chef, which one will reign supreme. So, all right, so let's get started. So this contest uh, today is going to feature five different categories. We're going to talk about value, uh, features, communication, uh, resources, and mobile performance. That last one's going to be a surprise, so... Now, our first category is value. And then that doesn't mean just price. Uh, the reason I didn't make it whatever price is cheaper uh, is because um, it doesn't mean it's better. I mean, the poster child for this is Squibbler with its $9.99 subscription um, and anemic features, plus its horrible interface. Um, now, I don't care if it costs less than Final Draft in terms of value. It doesn't deliver by a long shot. So this is why we're going to look at value today. Even though I talked about price not being the the only factor, it is a factor in this, you know, it, it is going to make a difference. And, and there is a price difference. So fade in at the time of this recording is going for $79.99 versus final draft, which is going for $199.99. Both of those are on sale uh, as of right now. Now, the nice thing about fade in's price is that it's uh, a one-time one -time price. So any upgrades are automatically free. Yes, you heard that right. Once you buy it, any upgrades are free. Now I can, can now you can now if we compare that with Final Draft, uh, that isn't the case. Um, they are not as generous with their upgrades. You got to pay for their upgrades. And uh, funny thing is, their upgrades, at least right now, is seventy nine ninety nine. Huh? Where did I hear that price before? That's right. It's actually fade ins price. And when they're not on sale. It's actually this, the non-sale price for an upgrade for Final Draft. Um, so I thought that was pretty funny. But I said it before, and I'll say it again. It's not just about price. It's about value. Now, now both software programs offer a ton of different features, which I think is amazing. And we'll judge which one of them has the more features and the better features back in the next section. But needless to say, both actually give you a lot of features, a ton of features, in fact. Um, and, and, they're, and that's one reason why I think both of them are great programs is because they give you these great features. Now, the last part of value comes from ease of use. And I've used both of these programs fairly regularly. And if you looked at my last review for Fade In, you can see how much I really enjoyed uh, the experience of writing with Fade In, which is, as I think about my time in Final Draft at the same time this last week, made me actually enjoy my experience in Fade In even more. So based on the features, ease of use, and lastly, price, but not just price, I have to give the first round, ding, ding, to Fade In. Our next category uh, is with the last one, and then I'm going to talk about the features of both different programs. Um, so let's take a look at the features that Fade In really wants us to highlight. Let's take a look at the features for Fade In. So it has a fully featured application interface. It features a universal state-of-the-art application interface. It does everything professional screenwriters need and expect their software to do, and it does it on Macs, Windows, and Linux, providing an optimal experience no matter what platform you use. It's got extensive formatting capabilities. The software takes care of script formatting for you, automatically transitioning from scene headings to actions to dialogue as you type. It includes a full range of standard screenplay styles you can use, the built-in uh, default styles, customize them or create your own. It's got auto completion typing. The software keeps track of the character names and locations you use and can provide an as you type auto completion suggestions. It's got a collaboration feature with Fade In's real time collaboration ca capabilities. You can work on the same screenplay at the same time with multiple collaborators, no matter where they are in the world. Unlike other software that only allows one person to actually work on a document at a time, Fade In allows collaborators to work independently with changes being reflected in all collaborators' copies in real time. It has image support uh, where you can insert images directly into your document. It has organization and navigation. You're not limited to organizing your screenplay by scenes and index cards. You can organize it and color code it however you like. Marking significant sequences, plot points, uh, themes, characters, and other story elements so you can always have a clear overview of your work. 
they has a no distraction mode, a page only, no distractions, full screen mode, allows you to concentrate on the most important thing, which is writing. It supports for multiple file formats, has a powerful writing and rewriting tools. It's got a revision mode, uh, breakdowns, reports, and taggings, um, and it also has a mobile, which will be a separate category. Now it's time for Final Draft to dazzle us with its features. So Final Draft 12 promises powerful story planning. With Final Draft 12, you can brainstorm, visualize, outline, report, tag, and collaborate and customize your writing environment like never before. It has an enhanced beat board, which has limited space to organize your ideas in a customizable visual way, plan set pieces, store character research, and much, much more. It has a new line outline elements and outline editor. Transfer your beat board to the outline editor for high level outlining. Send your outline to script using outline elements. It has script notes. Add comments to your script as ideas come to you. So it's got streamlined writing and editing tools. It's got night focus mode, which night mode inverts your screen to cut down on eye strain, while focus mode eliminates unwanted distractions. It has track changes. Keep a record of edits to your script, then choose whether to accept or reject them. You can import PDF. Collaboration, collaborate simultaneously with your writing partners in real time on both script and the beat board. You can, you can insert images just like you can in Fade In. It has smart type, uh, is used to cut down on key, keystrokes by autofilling commonly used names, locations, and more. It has alternate dialogue. Use alternate dialogues to store as many different conversations of lines as you can imagine. It also has dual dialogue, actually enhanced dual dialogue. Easily manage two characters speaking simultaneously. Write, revise, and edit with the new improved dual dialogue feature. Now again, both programs contain some very awesome features. However, what puts Final Draft as the winner in this category, in my eyes, is its story planning features. And at least at this time in my screenwriting career, I find that I need to utilize this more often, which is why this was very important to me, and which is why this is the feature that sort of took things to the next level. Uh, I like the one-stop shop of having everything in the same program. Instead of using notebooks or maybe a word program or something like that on my computer, I like everything together. And that's one of the reasons why um, Final Draft has tied things up one-to-one. -one. Our next category is communication. In this category, I fired off an email to each of the different companies to see if I could get a human to actually respond. This is important because I think if you have a problem and you need some resolution, I think customer service should be slick, quick, and effective. Now, to be honest, I was pretty unimpressed with Final Draft. I've actually sent them a couple of emails in the past and I've never gotten an answer from them about anything, about any of the questions I've had. So now compare this to Fade In, who I got um, a professional response in and get this, less than a day. And if it wasn't because I sent it at 11 o'clock at night, I talked to their support person. They normally get back to people the same day, if not in an hour or two, if it's during the day. Hey, so fade in, choo -choo, does a knockout blow for uh, this category. So fade in, yeah, fade in is up two to one on final draft. We got two categories left to go. Is final draft gonna be able to pull it back and uh, tie up the score and take the lead or does fade in going for the knockout blow? Well, let's take a look at the next category, which is resources. Now, I know this is a little vague for a term, but I'm looking at help resources as well as writing resources. Fade in does a marvelous job with its help resources. They have a knowledge base and support page, which is second to none. Also, I have a shown in my fade in review that you can just type things in like into the program, which will highlight how to do them, such as things like dual dialogue. Now, Final Draft, however, goes slightly above Fade In, though, in that they have a YouTube channel to, to accompany this product. I also get newsletters from Final Draft on writing topics and some other types of resources. Now, Fade In does a good job in this category, but Final Draft just goes slightly above and beyond. So Final Draft pulls it out. We're tied up again, two to two. The next category is mobile. Now this category is gonna decide who's gonna wear the crown, who's gonna knock out who, who has got the better software. But unfortunately, both programs actually take a substantial stumble in this step. So it's sort of a little anticlimactic and I wish that both of them would, would have a better mobile product, but unfortunately they don't. And this is sort of backing in who's the winner is gonna be, but still, we gotta figure out who's gonna win. Well, the nice thing about Fade In's product, product is it's cheaper, 
at $4.99, while Final Draft is $5.99. Now, both of these are listed as companion apps, meaning they don't have all the bells and whistles as the main program. No, that's, that's fine. I, I, I don't worry about that. Now, as I alluded to before, both have a lot of problems, though. Now, Fade In, main problem, at least according to the reviews that I read, is that export function to the iCloud or, or outside of the program. Now, there was a lot of frustrations, which led to having reviews of about 3.8 out of 5, which isn't bad. You know, it's almost four stars, so it's not too bad. Now, Final Draft, though, is no angel. Uh, the main problem with Final Draft is that it freezes, and it freezes a lot. Now, especially, it looks like it's been doing this the last six months uh, at the time of this video. Uh, and this has been a big issue. Though it seems to have a lot more satisfied customers, though, as its score is 4.6 out of 5. Now, in the future, I hope to do some in-depth videos of these both these mobile pro platforms because, again, I didn't get a lot of times to sample them, and I want to take some time and sit down and, and, and write one of my scripts uh, into them just to, to really get the sense of what are, the, what are the things that are hard for people to figure out and what are those things that these two uh, software giants need to really figure out how to make better. Now, however, based on what I know today, the winner, by a smidge, by a really small spidge, and this is not an easy way to crown a winner, is Final Draft. So realistically, both of these are great programs and will serve you well. So at the end of the day, there's really not a loser. If you like either of these two programs, they are great. And in my eyes, um, Final Draft just puts in a little bit extra due to those extra things that I like, um, mainly being uh, the, the pre-story stuff. That's the reason why I'm choosing Final Draft as well as it also is an industry standard. You can make the argument that it's really not because PDF is, but it's still um, a lot of people, if you're in a writing group, are gonna probably need to know Final Draft. So that's why uh, I'm putting that ahead of, of, of uh, Fade In for today. But at the end of the day, both of these programs are winners. Uh, if you have a choice between either, both of them will serve you well. Hi, if you're new to the channel for the first time, my name is Paul from Screenwriting Software Expert. I make videos about screenwriting software, and I also do my best to answer questions about the software to help you write well. Now, if this is the type of content that you'd find helpful, feel free to hit the subscribe button below. If you have any questions about software, leave them in the comment section below, or if there's a software you'd like me to look at, let me know, I'm happy to take a look. Well, until the next time, live well and write well.